Hello and a good Monday to you from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. I don't know. I don't know why I thought things would be different this season, but I did. I don't know what I was thinking because I was thinking that Lil Abner, Jera, Jerry Jones, now that he's 80 whatever, would have enough maturity not to pollute the training camp water. Boy, was I mistaken. Let me start with a question. Why would you go out of your way to pick a public fight with your eight-time Pro Bowler and future Hall of Famer and the linchpin of your offensive line, guard Zach Martin? Why would you do that? And then, why would you make it personal? Which you did, whether you realized it or not. Look, I'm not naive. Football is a business. I get that. You can make the argument that a contract is a contract. But when Jarrah says there is no resolution and then haughtily says he'll be in camp when he gets to camp, what are you trying to accomplish there? But it got way worse because he went on to say, we need the money to pay Micah Parsons. We need the money to pay the players we've got to pay in the future. Yes, absolutely. And it's okay to think that. It's not okay to say it. And here's the difference. It got personal the instant you specifically invoked the name of another player on the team. You just told Zach Martin, future Hall of Famer, to get to the back of the line behind people that he has seniority over, and you essentially told him to STFU. Jerry, you always say that the future is now, and since we're entering year 28 of the great Cowboy Super Bowl drought, I think you're right. Okay, you can't go anywhere this year without Zach Martin. He knows it. You know it, and you know who else knows it? Your quarterback knows it, and he is getting pissed. I don't know why I thought it would be different this year, because it isn't. Aaron Rodgers is not always right, but he's been almost exclusively right in everything he's said and done since he joined the Jets, and he was right yesterday. When he went after Broncos head coach Sean Payton, for attacking Jets offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett, who of course was the Broncos head coach last year. I don't know what Peyton was thinking, a guy with that experience and with all his accomplishments, he has apologized, but that was a violation of the code. And Rogers was right to go after him and tell him, keep my coach's name out your mouth. More on that on the sports blog at radicallyrational.com. One more thing before we move on to something else. Chuck Halley is going to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame this weekend. If you don't know what a stud Jack Chuck Halley was, I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Okay. It is now the root of the stumps, stump speech. They're not coming for me. They're coming for you. They're not indicting me. They're indicting you. No, Donnie, we need to clear this up, man. We See, we are coming for you. We are Americans who believe in the rule of law and the concept that nobody is above the law. We are Americans who cherish the enlightened brilliance of our Constitution and the historical uniqueness of our founding principles and institutions. We believe in the separation of powers among our three branches of government, we are committed to fair and honest elections and the peaceful transfer of power. We will defend our representative democracy and will vigorously resist any and all efforts to turn our government into autocracy or theocracy. We support the right to peaceful protest, but adamantly reject and will not tolerate violent insurrection. See, Donnie, you play your faux populist windbag pipes all the time, always seeking the bottom and stoking the fears of your omniphobic cult. You and your cult are afraid of everything. 
while you bluster at others. See, Donnie, there is overwhelming, not just probable cause, but overwhelming evidence that you have committed serial felonies that have threatened the very foundation of our country. But I digress. So see, Donnie, don't underestimate yourself. Give yourself some credit. We are not coming for them. You're damn right we're coming for you. We are radically rational.